short version of it before. I don't know why, but you just let me know. I haven't seen you in quite some time But you keep appearing in my mind I haven't heard you speak in quite some time But I hear it as a child I think I'm in love with the thought of you Replacing my deepest blues I think I'm in love with the thought of you A love I don't wanna lose Kiss the mic seen you in quite a while but you keep my heart racing mile after mile i know i don't know how you've changed in time but if i could i'd make you Svetlana, the firefly in the room Here, let's show them So excited? Why are you so excited? Okay Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Today I want to talk about the ugly side of owning houseplants Pests. Today we'll talk about pests, today we'll deal with pests and this is gonna be all about pests. So long story short, I have a problem. I have nine plants infested with different bugs, which is even more fun. It's a cocktail of bugs. So I knew I had a trips infestation for I think right now three months, I guess. it's It's been happening all summer long. I've been fighting and fighting and they just been fighting back and it's been a struggle. And I did not film it because it's an ugly process. It takes a lot of, you know, <laughs> What the heck? Because it's an ugly process, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of energy and you know, I just did not felt like doing this but then I noticed a bunch of comments from you asking of me What's your baby? to share what I am doing to deal with pests and you know what, today I'm gonna share everything <laughs> So, long story short, this is my house plant shelf, right? Beautiful, I love her, she's doing a great job and just I, I think this Friday, so two days ago, I was putting up Pedro over here so you can see a little bit more spooky vibes on my channel, right? Not the big deal, but the main uh, point of it is that I was really close to the shelf. I was inspecting the plants. Every single one of them looked happy, healthy, and I was like so happy and proud of myself. Two days passed. Today is Sunday, so it's early morning of Sunday, so it's less than two days, let's be honest, right? I come back to the shelf just to check on Pedro and all of the plants, right? And I see the huge, huge infestation of bugs, and it's so ugly, it's so disgusting, it just filled with them, and they have... Uh, it just... Oh my gosh, guys, you have no idea. So today I want to share with you how I will be treating this thing. I actually have two different bugs right now that I will be attacking. <laughs> One of them are trips on my pride possession houseplants, which is so sad. I have uh, Anturium vitrifolium infested with trips. I have Syngonium red spot that I just a couple seconds ago noticed that have trips on it as well. So I need to put it aside. I also will be working with Variegated Monstera, uh, Pink Princess Philodendron and uh, Philodendron 
Paraiso Verde, I think. So, you know, pretty expensive plants, pretty rare plants. And these are the ones that Trips really love in my collection. So there are more, I cannot remember all of them right now, but you'll see it in a minute. And I also have two Hoyas. This is Hoya Pubicalix, right? And in here I have Hoya Carnosa Splash, my very first Hoya ever. Both of them, it happened over the night. It looks like it happened over the night. They are infested, extremely infested with bugs that I do not remember the name. I'll put it on the screen. In Lithuania, we call them Amare. So today I want to take you along and show you the steps, what I am personally doing every single time when I want to fight these bugs. I mean, all of the bugs on my plant collection, especially right now, since the windows are open 24 seven in my apartment. I mean, bugs are so freely flying all around everywhere. What, you wanna come? Come, come baby, say hello. Now you can have coffee, baby. You can have coffee, you're so cute. You're so cute though, yeah? Oh my gosh, you're so adorable. Okay, mama, mama gotta do some stuff, okay? Mama have to take care of ugly business. Okay, okay, okay. Anywho, so yes, today I will show you all of the steps that I will be doing to get rid of all of those pests and I'll take you along. So first step, of course, is to go ahead and inspect your plants. I am going through my collection every single week whenever I am watering my plants. I just take a look on the other sides of their leaves because that's where these pests love to hide, especially if you have uh, leaves, for example, like this, uh, burl marks, right? If they have ears like this on the leaf, always check this part of the leaf because where the leaf is touching to each other and they have like crevice like so, right? That's where the eggs are most likely laid if you have pests, so always check that. And, you know, just do your job with your eyes. Just go ahead, you know, inspect, check, look, check it out and just watch because the biggest help for you is to find it in the early stages when the plant is still not highly infested for example like this hoya which happened overnight which is still mind-blowing for me always inspect your plants and in that way you will prevent huge infestation all over your plants and stuff like that so do the job number one right i already did it i found nine plants with pests next step is to take them out of your houseplant collection spots right so as you can tell i have a lot of plants standing next to each other so when I, what i want to do i want to put them somewhere aside from other plants because these pests can fly they can crawl and go into your other plants and that's exactly what you do not want to another step that you should do is to clean the shelves where these plants were for example if it was windowsill or shelf take all of the plants out, wash all of the surfaces because that's where all of the bugs can hide. I already learned it the hard way. I remember, you know, taking all of my plants out of the pots, cleaning all of the roots, you know, rinsing every single leaf on them, spraying with neem oil, putting back in the new soil, putting it back on the same shelf and from the shelf it went back into the root system and back into the plant. So do not do the same mistake that as I did and clean the spots where you find pests I heard that trips can even crawl on your carpets and you know everywhere around your home which is so creepy when you think about it right and right now we will go to the ugly business right so since you found all of these plants with pests right now what I'm gonna do I'll go into my bathroom I think or maybe my kitchen and take all of these plants out of the pots I'll try to, to get rid of as much soil as I can because that's where the pests are laying the eggs especially trips they love to live in the soil as well so what I want to do I want to take out all of the soil I mean as much of the soil as I can and then we'll go to the step which one it will be? Number five, right? So the step number five is to go ahead and use some kind of medication. I particularly use a neem oil. This is something that I can find. I mean, all of Lithuanians can find in our local big box stores. This is the easiest stuff to find and that's what I'm going to use. And instead of spraying my plants, you know, with a mixture of water and neem oil, I will put all of that mixture into my bathtub, fill it in with neem oil and water mixture and just lay my plants into this bathtub and give it a nice bath. I'll leave these plants in this bath for at least a couple hours. You know, so all of the plants will be soaked in this neem oil and don't worry, this won't 
the Starpure plant too much. Actually, I've been doing the same thing with my cacti, for example, rainbow cactus, and it's doing amazing right now. So don't worry, your plants won't drown. <laughs> I was worried about it, especially cacti. Well, but it's so, so stupid, but anywho. So I will leave them in this bathtub for a couple hours. Then I will take them out, put in the say some kind of dish and put them to my balcony and leave them there for one night, you know, so whole day, right? And during that time, the since the plants will soak in all of that neem oil, not only on the surface of their, you know, parts of the leaves and stems and roots, they also take a little bit of that inside of their, you know, organisms. So all the rest of the pests who still will be alive and hidden somewhere, they'll start to eat these plants again and that's when they will receive more neem oil inside of their organisms and that's when they will die off hopefully and the next day i once again will repeat the process i will take them back to the bath soak them in the neem oil with water and then the next portion will be of me planting them back into new fresh soil new fresh pots do not reuse the pots that you already had pests in clean them nicely with neem oil if you want sometimes when i want to save some neem oil i use soap like you know dish soap for example to clean them out because i know the pest won't survive that so this video will be the first part of me doing the bath and all of that the second part will be a couple days later after they will be you know treated and i will be reporting them since i will be reporting them leave any questions that you want me to answer and i will of course answer them this will be q a so feel free to leave any kind of questions you have about personal life puppies i don't know plants of course so everything that comes to your mind leave them in the comments i also think i will make poll on my instagram so if you do not follow me on instagram go ahead and follow me there so you can you know give me questions uh, anonymously and stuff like that so right now let's get into the dirty business let's get rid of all of that soil let's soak these plants in neem oil and then i will see you in my next video but right now Let's do the stuff, man. All right, so let me fix myself. I found 10 plants that are infested. Not fun at all, but let me show you the plants that will be the stars of this video. <laughs> and then let's start to take them out of the pot.
Alright, so I did everything I could with the soil. I took as much of it as I could from the roots. Right now, the next step is to prepare the mixture of water and neem oil. I will go by the instructions that are in the package of this uh, medicaments of this neem oil. Actually, I don't remember how it's called in English, but I have this dish in the bath that I will fill with water and neem oil mixture and soak them in and that's where I will leave them for a couple hours the least and while they will be soaking I'll go ahead and edit this video for you guys so let's soak them in and I'll see you very soon And this is it for today's video. I know it looks like a lot of work, especially when you have a bunch of plants that need to be treated, right? But it works and that's what the most important, right? We do not want to lose the plants for pests because we paid so much money for them or maybe they're sentimental for us. And this is something that we just have to do to keep our houseplant collection safe, right? So I hope you enjoyed this first episode of my houseplant pest treatment process shebang anywho i hope you enjoyed this and the next one will be in a couple days so don't forget to leave your comments with questions to my q a right and reporting and before leaving you of course let me teach you another language lesson and since we were in the bath let me teach you how to say bathroom in lithuanian and in russian so if you want to say bathroom in lithuanian you need to say bonya once again bonya it does not work for the toilet bathroom. No, the bathroom with toilet. Anyway, and if you want to say bathroom in Russian, you need to say vanna. Once again, vanna. And this is it. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave comments, subscribe to my channel if you love plenty content. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll see you in my next one.